Ha! Ah. Start getting creasy. Oh, drag puller! There he is. One of my favorite fish in the world to eat right there. Big one. Now there's your grouper sandwich. Not a bad one. What a beauty. It's a mowing! <laughs> <laughs>not the easiest conditions to catch a fish in. What's the, uh, I know it's closed now, but what is the season on grouper? Um, June 1st to uh, December 31st. You know, the first few weeks of, of June is great, and then it seems like it slacks off a little bit, just the water getting hot, and as it gets cooler, the months from October, November, December are just, they just get off the chain as each cold front comes through. It gets crazier and crazier, so. The winter months are, of course, they come in a little closer and they congregate. I don't know if it's a breeding thing or what, but a rock pile that'll hold five or six in the summer will have 50 on it. Nice. Tell you what, you know, Chris, one thing I like is it's only 40 feet deep. Yeah. You know what I don't like? You gotta run 18, 19 yeah. miles out here to get 40 feet of water. <laughs> That's the only bad thing. This guy's staying up. Did you get a grown one that time? I think you did. A little better. A little bit. They ain't got you grunting too bad. Well, that's Not a, a bad one. fish. Not a bad one. Uh -huh. Now there's your grouper sandwich. That's a sandwich right there. But the only bad thing about it, <laughs> this, is, this is one lucky fish, because two weeks ago, two weeks ago we could have kept him. Now, Gotta let him go. But that is a good grouper right there. Nice. A stud. We'll see you later, buddy. Down they go. There's uh -huh. a good one. Uh huh. Feel like a good one when he ain't. Fair. He be in. The, he could go in the box. Circle hook did its job. Now, as you, the regulations are same here. You got to use circle hooks when you're reef fishing, right? Yes, sir. In the Gulf, makes it kind of hard for the mangrove snapper. But I'll tell you what, the mortality rate on these guys using circle hooks. They just live so much better when you release them like that. And we're shallow enough now, we don't have to vent these fish. They're swimming right back down to the bottom. You're one of them piggies. You don't say much when you get a fish on, do you? It's a Mogan! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it, Mogan. I wanted to make sure he was on first. Nice fish. That is a good fish there. It's another keeper. Well, this is getting down there, so you... Uh... Yeah, you go ahead. So when do the snappers eat? When the groupers let them. <laughs> you ever get the grouper eating the snapper? Not very often, unless they're small. Sea bass pretty grunts. boy. You got a fish. Yes, sir. That one's a nice one. Got them cheeks right there. Ooh, oh, man. Them cheeks are good. <laughs> <laughs> Good? Yeah.
we're just make, on, we're just making sure there's grouper here when we come back when there's a season. Maybe it's because you're letting them go and they're going back down and telling everybody, hey, don't, don't eat. Yeah, they don't quit biting when, when you don't let them go. What you got there, Chris? A grouper. Oh, a drag puller. Am I just gonna land your fish all day? If you'd like to. <laughs> what a pretty fish, Little man. guy, nice one. And you say this year has been the best grouper season you've ever seen? It's been a awesome season. Really good What about good the reds, season. you get reds in here too? Um, actually, in starting around 40, we get a few. Yeah. Um, not a lot of keepers, but they're coming back. Pretty fish, pretty fish. See all the blue on his tail? Oh yeah, he's excited. Oh, it was not graceful. I think this guy's dead, dude. Let me get a new one. Actually, let me show everybody out there what we're using today. This is a pig fish, a dead pig fish, so we're gonna get rid of that. Using a six-aught circle hook, and it's definitely getting the job done. What is that, about a? Ow, oh, half ounce. Half ounce weight. Yeah. Not much weight you need here in the Gulf to get them down, but that's a pig fish. That one right there in Mosquito Lagoon in 1975 would have brought you about a 15 pound trout. <laughs> no, no doubt. That's one of that's one of trout's favorite baits and uh, these guys too, the grouper, snapper, but not when they're dead. I'm gonna try a pinner this time, I think. You got a pinner? Yes, sir. Now the reason they call these guys pinfish or you hear people call them pinners and we're hooking them in the belly there because Chris said when you hook them in the belly to make them go down more to the bottom. But uh, one reason they call them pinfish is each one of them little spikes right there will absolutely go through your finger in a heartbeat. These down here will do the same, these will do the same. The only ones that are safe are the peck fins right there. But that's how you rig them, that's how you hook them. And let's see if we can catch them. Name of the game. Where to go? Where to go? So we're in uh, 35 feet of water, so we want to be, you said about three feet off the bottom, right? Ah! Aha! A red grouper. A red grouper. Just what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, you'll get to see the difference since these are so rare here. Roll that circle hook out. And that is a red grouper. And they're just as tasty as the gags, in my opinion. Well, a lot of people got their own opinions, but ow. They're still good. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh boy. He's not a monster, but it's a fish. <laughs> it's the targeted species. Not a bad one. Come down here and there's Blair likes to say we'll make him famous. <laughs> <laughs> make you famous. Pretty boy. So how many grouper you think you got this year? Or did you count them? I'm judging by my charters, the amount of charters, I would say Back in front a couple of hundred. Couple of hundred. On a nasty day in January. God, I can't believe it's January already. Come on, fish. Got 
staying in there long, are they? Well, they see what's in there. If you snook like every other snook in the world, they like a lot of water flow around. They love that water flow, you know, like the inlets and things like that. We have, as you can see here, we got a ton of water flow. You know, our lines, as soon as we throw them in there, either they're down here or that bait swims out to us. Um, you know, they love, love that moving water. That really triggers them into feeding and things like that. Just brings a bait to them. They sit there like a dragster on the bottom. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. They sit right on the bottom, let that water flow over their head, and these fish are gonna probably come up from eight feet of water, you know, that we're fishing here to come up there and eat those baits. There he is. I love you, Jack. I love you, Jack. Oh, that's a big girl. Not bad for the second cast, Blair. No, not at all. Big girl there, buddy. Come on, baby. I got some pressure on her. Just running down that bank. Yep. It's all right. Mm. Oh. Break you off? Yep, got me in the sticks. Could not stop her. 30 pound test. That's Dang. a big one. That's the one we came for. We'll get another one. Here he is. Here he is. Come back and eat it. Missed it. Eat it, eat it. Missed it. Big one. Got it. Big got him. Big one. Coming underneath you, Blair. Oh, yeah. Not bad, brother. Not a bad snooky. Right in the corner of the mouth. I think Ooh, she's tired out. Ooh. What do you think, Blair? Yes, sir, but barely hooked. Yeah, like. barely hooked. Nice fish. All right. What a beauty. That hook just fell out. Yeah, it did. Fell out. About a 29-incher. A little bit of a Labrador look on that one. That's it. Nice fish. Maybe we can get a bigger one later on. Yeah, that one's got a little bit of that Labrador look yes. left in him, don't he? Absolutely, absolutely. That's Probably so close to a 30 inch or 29. <clears throat> we'll let him go to breathe another day. Make some more babies for us to come back next year and catch. Now, you ever get any of the fat snook or tarpon snook? We or? do, we do. From, you know, from time to time, we get a big fat snook every once in a while. Um, you know, but just one of those things, you know, we, um, most of them are common snook like that one. Um, the other day I actually caught a skinny. Yeah. Yeah, real skinny one. So, but other than that, let's go get another one. Maybe throw in a little bit heavier leader and we can uh, land us a couple, uh, couple of those fish we lost this morning. That would be nice. There he is. Get his ass. Blur. I believe that one's a jack. Big red fish. like one. Uh, some shaking to him. Yep. Fighting sure like a jack. Sure seeming like a jack Cravalli. A big one. I do believe, like you said, Chris, pound for pound, I've caught these things up to 40, 45 pounds. Oh, there's no doubt. Of... Did that show with Bill Dance catching them? He didn't want to catch another one. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine. That was funny. Four or five of those ones right there, you don't want to catch them anymore because no. your arms hurt. <laughs> That's for sure. Come here, you fork tail devil. Ugh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Troll call right in the corner of the mouth. Right where it should be. That's it. <laughs> you know, back there where you're tying your hook, I'm supposed to catch a, about a 30 pound snook, not a 10 pound Jack Carvel, but whew, 
they will test your tackle. And That's they it. are a beautiful fish. You ever catch one about 35 pounds, Bob Brown's taxidermy at a Fort Canaveral's got a great mount. Does he? Yeah, I gave it, I gave it to him so he could mold it. That's awesome. It's a 35 pounder. Awesome, awesome. Let's get back right, to it. Let's get a snook, man. Get some redemption. You say it's the biggest skeeter you've ever seen? I think so. <laughs> it is a big skeeter. I didn't know they made one this size. Yes, yeah, they're 25, five. And uh, one, one, dang it. One thing I absolutely love is the pads here on my knees. I got one brand new knee, but the other one really appreciates those pads. Heck yeah. <laughs> my first inshore boat with knee pads on it. Gives it a big boat feel though. With the way our inshore fishery is down there, I do a lot more near shore right off the beach and you know, a lot of rough stuff. This boat's the perfect tool for it. You say some of them are like six, seven feet down? Yeah, some of those rocks, you gotta be careful with the low tide. You can, especially on an incoming, when it's uh, the water's a little clear, you can see them right below the boat. We've even seen sheep's head laying on top of them, just fishing just like this. Gets a little sketchy sometimes, especially when there's some that's a, Rollers. That, that's a nice the, relief there. It's 22 feet deep here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some big rocks down there. There he is. Is that the targeted species? I think that might be Mr. Oh. Sheep's Head. Hopefully it's a Pompey now. Feels like a sheep. Seven pound pompano. You want to just sling him on in? You want me to grab the leader? Ah, uh, whatever you think will be better. I'll grab him. Oh, he's. It's a nice sheep. He's definitely uh, somebody's fish sandwich tonight if we get him in the boat. He's not quite done yet. Here he is. There we go. Not a bad sheepy at all there, brother. One of my favorite fish in the world to eat right there. They are so good. Yes, sir? I think that, well, that one needs a little company in the box. I, th I think it? he's a keeper. <sighs> Let me show you how we're hooking these guys. This is a sand flea, one of the weirdest looking animals you will ever see in your entire life. They are in the crab family, I guess. And, Crustacean. Uh, well, they're crabs. They got that yellow, yellow eggs that they carry on them. But I'm trying to hook them like Jimmy Armel told me to hook a fiddler crab and that's come through the top and out the bottom. Cause every time we get them back and we get the shell left, they're eating nothing but the insides out. So the point of the hook's right there. So if they come up, we'll see if he's hooked right in the top of the mouth. On a sand flea. It's the first sheep head I've ever seen caught on a sand flea. Oh yeah? See, Couldn't fine. tell if that was sarcasm or not. <laughs> no, it is. I just don't use sand fleas that much. We've been taking them in the river and hitting the docks with them too. And the sheep's head are tearing them up in there. A lot of smaller ones though. They're catching them up to six, seven pound sheep's head out here right now. No kidding. It's a nice size sheepy. My son got one 32 inches in the river one day. 32 inches. 32 sheephead. inch sheep head. That's gotta be a state record or close. It was probably the record, but we ate it anyway. <laughs> Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. <laughs> Rockfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh.